We knew that there was a helicopter service here at the hospital when we checked the facilities and the level of care at the hospital. That was part of the reason we moved here, was we knew we would have the best medical facilities we could have living in this area. Well, the Native Air 7 base in the town of Payson is a great asset for the community and for the fire department. With only a level four trauma center here in the town, uh, all of our trauma patients uh, have to go to Phoenix or the Valley of the Sun. There are link between us and danger and a trauma level one trauma center and level two so we would function poorly without without their help up here. It was um, the Friday night of Memorial Day weekend so we had friends come in for dinner and he just said it's such a beautiful afternoon it's five o'clock I think I'll get on my bike so he put his biking clothes on and out the door he went. I'm out riding my bicycle trying to be healthy going downhill about 35 miles an hour I remember the bike did a head shake and I did a face plant on the asphalt and went off of about a 15 foot drop off into the manzanita and rocks on the side of the road and next thing I remember is a the fireman arrived. Well, it looked like he hit his head and complained of chest pain. Packaged him up to restrict his movement. At that point, he probably knew we were flying. So I remember getting the phone call and going to the helipad. EMS brought the patient to the helipad. Once they completed everything, we loaded the patient up and we left out of Payson and we went to Banner Desert. We got down to Phoenix and transferred care to the trauma team. They ended up intubating him. They put a chest tube in him. Um, he went up to the OR. He had a, a number of injuries. The most serious was a collapsed lung. Other injuries included a clavicle fracture, uh, so his collarbone was broken, a scapula fracture, which is his shoulder blade, and he had a fracture of zygoma, which is the cheekbone. The girlfriend that was with me, has, her husband's had two heart attacks, and her son's actually a paramedic, so she had been through this, and she was the perfect person to be with me. The doctor who did the work came to see me my last day and he said, if they hadn't gotten you here when they did, you didn't have but minutes of life left in you. It's nice to see how he's doing now. When somebody wants to meet you and thank you in person, it's like, it's very humbling. It reminds you why you do what you do. I just wanted to have a chance to meet and thank the crew and the firemen, that, uh, the EMTs that took care of me. If you look at the accident, and it's a surreal mix of one really weird, bad mechanical failure, a tire blowing at the worst possible place. And then all of the positive afterward, never once concerned for my well-being, because I knew that I'm in good hands. Every day is uh, a gift. I have to say now that I'm healthy and feeling good, Again, I think I'm a happier person. I have a greater sense of appreciation for my life, the people in it, and appreciation for people I don't even know that work so hard to keep me in one piece, you know, so I could come back to it. It's been good for us. We've actually just gotten closer. Spent a lot of time together this summer. And he, he just wants to get back to doing the things he loves to do. I feel very fortunate to have made such a good recovery and from the uh, moment the EMTs arrived till uh, they had me in the hospital, I was just amazed uh, at the professionalism. The care and the follow through and the expediousness of everybody coordinating, working together and that golden hour is real. And you prove once again that you can be there and get it done.